Hello everyone, today I will show the solutions to problems 5 and 6 of round 162 of the Prairie Math League. For problem number 5, we have f as a cubic polynomial, with f of 0 equals some uh, variable, some like constant x, f of 1 equals 2x, and f of negative 1 equals 3x. And we wish to find f of 2 plus f of negative 2. So to start this problem, we start by exp like we express f as a um, cubic polynomial, and we can have this in this form, where f of y equals ay cubed plus by squared plus cy plus d for any y. Now, suppose we have this. Uh, from the given equations, we can like substitute uh, y equals 0, y equals 1, and y equals negative 1, and it get um, these equations. Um, uh, again, we're just substituting y. So here we have uh, f of negative 1 equals negative a, um, whoopsies, f of 1, negative 1 equals negative a plus b minus c plus d, f of, f of positive 1 equals a plus b plus c plus d, and f of 0 is d. But we also know from the, these conditions over here that um, these are equal to 3x, 2x, and x respectively. Now, notice that we wish to find f of 2 plus f of negative 2, which is, um, uh, from here, we can just plug in um, 2 and negative 2 and get for negative 2, we get this, and for 2, we get this. And a lot of terms cancel. These two cancel, and these two cancel, and we get this. 8b plus 2d. Now, we wish to get this kind of thing from this system of equations that we have here. Notice that if we add these two equations, we can get rid of these um, pesky a and c terms. And we can instead get 2, so we're adding these two, and we get 2b plus 2d equals 4. 5, uh, 5x, and we also have d equals x. And by now, we can just use these two uh, equations to get to uh, this, what we want here, which is, um, so 8b plus 2d is equal to 4 times 2b plus 2d minus 6 times d. And we see that that works, and furthermore, we can substitute this and this into this and this respectively and to get 14x, which is option choice e. All right, so for problem number six, uh, we have some number k equals 2008 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2008, and we should find the units digit of k squared plus 2 to the power of k. Now, we first consider this thing, and we're going to use a bit of modular arithmetic here to simplify the notation. If you don't know what modular arithmetic is, I would highly recommend you to search it up because this is a very invaluable tool in later math like uh, more advanced level math contests. But anyways, um, consider the k equals this. Wait, no. Anyways, consider the unit digit of this. Um, now, notice that we have this is um, composed of two terms. Uh, k squared modulo 10 only depends on k mod 10. Now, to see this is why this is true, notice that um, like 1 squared, 11 squared, 21 squared, all have the same unit digit, which is 1. Similarly for 2, 12 squared, or 2 squared, 12 squared, um, 22 squared, they all have the unit digit 4, and so on. But the point being that um, uh, no matter what anything like the 10s digit, the 100s digit, or whatever, it all just only depends on the unit digit, or just mod 10. Now, on the other hand, 2 to the power of k is a bit, um, you, so you have to notice a pattern here. If you take, or just write powers of 2, etc., we notice that we have this repeating pattern that goes 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, and so on. So it re repeats these four terms, and uh, we can exploit this by saying that um, what 2 to the power of k is mod 10 only re depends on uh, k mod 4, because it repeats every uh, once every four terms. Now, th thus we wish to find k mod 10 and k mod 4. Now consider k equals two, 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 uh, 2008 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2008. Now, notice that this is a power of 2, or sorry, multiple of 2. 
and this is also a multiple of two. And notice that we have we uh, like at least one times square each of these. Therefore, four divides this entire expression here. In other words, this entire expression is div divisible by four. So k mod four equals zero, or equiv is equivalent to zero. Um, yeah. But on the other hand, k to the um, k mod ten, uh, we can see as eight squared congruent to eight squared plus. Um, now this is two thousand eight is uh, a uh, multiple of four. So if we consider this pattern of repeating fours, we see that every fourth term we get a six. So uh, two to the power of two thousand eight is congruent to six mod um, mod four, or sorry mod ten, and if we add these up, we get um, 4 plus 6 mod 10, which is congruent to 0 mod 10. Therefore, we have that k mod 4 is 0, and k mod 10 is also 0. Now, finally, we can um, put this back to, into um, k squared plus 2 to the k. k squared is 0, because k, is, k, k mod 10 is 0. So we have k squared congruent to 0 mod 10. Now, 2 to the power of k, notice that k mod 4 is 0, and as we just saw earlier, um, every fourth number number of, in like the 2 to the power of k mod 4 series, or 2 to the power of k mod 10, um, is 6. Therefore, 2 to the power of k is congruent to 6 mod 10. And we can add these two up to get 6, which is option choice D. And we're done. Thanks for watching.